Oh, we've got almost exactly the same vulnerability, so we've got exactly the same vulnerability to exploit cut line. Now we're going to talk about the exploitation of the 2022 vulnerability. As you'd expect, it's almost exactly the same as the 2021 vulnerability. Main difference is the control flow path to set to that P extra bytes and also the additional hooking of the user space function. So as before, we need to create a window zero and we need to create a window one. Then we need to leak the window zero into user space, leak the window one into user space. And consequently, the attacker knows these offsets. So they know where those are in kernel space. They know the relative offset from the base of this kernel heap and they're gonna use that to find locations to clobber later on. Then there's an additional call to NT user console control. Previously, we only called that in the context of the create window X when there was the user space callback. In reality, I think I just missed this in the exploit on the first go round. Uh, the attacker actually needed to call this for the previous vulnerability as well, because what that's going to do is it's going to set to the hex 800, the bit 11 on the DW extra flag, and that is a precondition for those functions like set window long, uh, set window long pointer. For those functions to do a offset based write, this flag is going to need to be set. So by just calling this to change the type of this window to a console window, then it will set the flag, it will cause an allocation, it'll take the offset for that allocation, and it'll stick it in p extra bytes. So again, this is invocation of this just normally from the user application, not in the context of a callback. That's just to flip that in preparation for using those set window long functions later on. And also again, I believe that that should have been mentioned in the previous vulnerability. I just missed it the first time around. Now the attacker is going to create the so-called malicious window. It's just a third window, but they're gonna create the malicious window. And unlike the previous vulnerability, they're just going to let the create window X proceed as normal, the same as these other windows. So that is going to lead to it being a pointer into user space. And, you know, it's just gonna be set up. It's not gonna have that DW extra flag. It's not gonna have an offset. It's gonna have a pointer into user space. Because previously when we were creating the window, we called it and then the XXX create window X would call out to user space and we'd cause the, the flipping here. But now that has been patched, so no longer can we just do everything all in one shot. First, we, so it's basically a two-step thing now. First step is just call create window like normal. The second step is then this new control flow path. The NT user message call calls into XX X switch window proc, calls back to XXX client alloc window, blah, blah, blah. And again, all of this is just a different control flow path instead of the create window X. The whole net result of this is that it's going to flip this to cause the type confusion, and it's gonna burn this and set it to acid. It's gonna have an attacker controlled P extra byte fields at the end, right? So we had this thing, it was just a normal window. We call this new control flow, the NT user message call gets here in the context of the callback. Now it's calling the NT user console control. That is going to set the flag. It's going to also cause the allocation to occur. And that is now gonna have an offset here. So that's the non-malicious offset. But when this returns back, and then the NT callback return returns to XXX switch window proc instead of create window X. Uh, now it is going to do, do, do. I don't have space. I can't like put it on this diagram, but the net result of all that control flow was that the attacker overwrote the offset with an attacker controlled offset. And now once again, the malicious window has a P extra bytes that points at this base of the tag window zero. So now once they start calling set window long on the malicious window, it's going to be writing relative offset from tag window zero. And they have once again resumed their capability to achieve relative writes. <laughs> Yep, so relative right, and after that, everything is exactly the same. Proceed as before, use the relative right to create an arbitrary right, use that to create a capability for arbitrary read, and you can just have your complex machine working again, the full exploit will now work again. <laughs>